My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some Microsoft Power Automate. Today we will see how we can do a REST API call in Power Automate and update an Excel sheet with the information. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about Power Automate and automation. So let's get started. We have an Excel sheet here that we want to update with live information. That is, we have four columns. It's date, it's US dollar, it's Japanese yen, and it's Swiss francs. And then we got uh, a row for entry row for yesterday, that was the 1st of April 2020. We got US dollar, Japanese yen, and Swiss francs, the exchange rates for all of those. We want to update those with live information from an API call. So let's go to our browser here, and we'll choose this foreign exchange rates API with live currencies from the European Central Bank. We used it before, it's really good. And we'll scroll a little bit down, and then we can see that we can make this request. Let's just try to copy it, then open a browser window and paste the request in. We can do the request, and we can see that we get the result here in a JSON. And what that is, is that first of all, we can notify that we will have this date, the 2nd of April, that's good. And it's, it's actually a live update. Then we get the base, that is in Euro. And that means, for example, that one Euro that cost 0.877 uh, British pound sterling, or 1.091806 uh, US dollar, for example. And we want to get those currencies out and update our Excel sheet. So let's go to Power Automate and fix that. First, you will click Create. We'll wait a few seconds. Just choose an instant flow if you want to schedule it. Like you could, you could run this flow like uh, four times a day or whatever. How often you need um, your currencies. We can call this flow currency like this. Oh, sorry, like this. And then we will click uh, manual trigger flow and then we'll click create. So now we are ready. And the first one is that we will make a HTTP request. So click new step and search for HTTP. It's here. Just choose this one. And then what we will do is that we will we'll use a get. We can also see that it is a get method and this is the address. So uh, we'll copy the address if it's not copied from before. So copy it. And then in URL, we'll choose uh, the URL that we got. And then under method, we'll choose get. And then we'll do nothing more. Then we'll need to, we get the JSON. We saw the JSON. This is a JSON. We saw that. And we want to pass that in uh, Microsoft Power Automate. So we'll need another step for that. Choose new step. And then we will say pass JSON. It's here, data operation. Click that. First of all, we will choose the body that we got from up here. So what we'll do here is that we'll just, you can actually see Power Automate or automatically suggest that from you. So we'll just say body. And then we want a schema. And the easier thing to do is just to get our JSON up here again. We will copy this schema and just copy everything from the curly bracket start to the curly brackets end. Copy it, then go to Power Automate, click Generate from Sample, and paste it in here, and then click Done. Now we can see that we updated our schema here, and we can see, for example, that now Power Automate knows that all the currencies are numbers, and we can see that we have some strings. The date is in a string format, and the base is in a string format, for example. So uh, that's good. Now we pass the JSON and we just need to update our Excel sheet here. We can see that it's in my OneDrive folder, even though it's in Teams, but it's still the OneDrive, OneDrive X, then currency. So what we'll do is that we will add a new step. Then we'll choose add a row to a table. Here, add a row into a table from the Excel online business. Choose that one. First of all, we'll choose the location, and that is uh, OneDrive for Business. Choose your location, then the document library, that will be the OneDrive. We will choose the file, so click the Browse here. It's in my X folder, so click that, and then choose the currency here. So now we chose the file, and we can choose what we want to 
uh, update or uh, what table we want to update and I just called mine table one very originally but you can call yours whatever you want in your Excel sheet so table one we want to update that and then see something smart now Power Automate automatically recognizes that we got a date column a US uh, column a Japanese gen and a Swiss franc what we'll do here is that we'll just update with a date let me scroll a little bit down here you can see that we got a date here from this JSON, we got the US dollar as well. We can just scroll down or we can search. But we will just uh, find a US dollar here and we will update with a Japanese gen like that. And then we will take the Swiss franc as well. So that's it. That's how easy it is to make a, an API call. We will click save and then we can try to run it. Just to see, you can of course also update whatever you want, a document on SharePoint, a mail or anything. So we'll click test. I'll perform the trigger action, save and test. We'll wait a few seconds. We'll click continue. Then we'll say run flow. And now it says your flow successfully started. Then we'll click done. And in a few seconds, we can see that we actually, that's how quick we made the API call. We can now go to OneDrive. And we can see that we can open it and then we can see uh, we wait a few seconds and well, let me wait a bit more and then we can uh, when it opens we can see that we up automatically updated our excel sheet with the latest currencies that's a bit different from yesterday's currencies so so far so good and that's it if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up that will really help me a lot have a good day bye bye